I'm Dr. Greg McDonald. I own Veterinary Hospital in Southern California. Uh, and uh, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit today about a very specific disease. It's called MRSA, which uh, stands for Methicillin Resistant Staph Aureus. That's MRSA. Uh, and it is a very, very uh, resistant bacteria. Uh, when, we, when we're dealing with resistant bacteria, uh, it's important because humans can also get this uh, as well as our animals. Uh, when we're dealing with something like this, the only way to really diagnose it and be certain of what you're dealing with is to do a culture and sensitivity. So if your veterinarian is suspicious that your dog has MRSA, they're going to uh, have a, an infection in your dog that doesn't seem to be responding to antibiotics, and then he's going to want to do a culture. And so if he does a culture, he's going to take a little uh, culturette, much like this one. Uh, we peel this back like that. And your veterinarian is going to take and uh, take this little swab like this and rub it right into the wound or the area that's not healing. They're going to take it like that and stick it in here and send this whole thing off to the lab for culture and sensitivity. The lab is going to take this and they're going to put it on a plate, put it under ideal conditions so that the bacteria grows in the laboratory. And then they're going to shoot little different types of antibiotics in around it and try and find out which antibiotic works best to control this disease. This is the form that we use to uh, send off to the lab and we require uh, the culture and sensitivity on this form. Uh, after about three or four days, uh, the lab will send a fax to your veterinarian and tell your veterinarian which antibiotics to use so that this particular resistant bacteria will be cured in your dog. This is a really good antibiotic that we often find works against uh, MRSA. So just to review, MRSA is methicillin-resistant uh, Staph aureus, uh, MRSA, and it's a very, very difficult uh, pro uh, bacteria simply because it's non-responsive to most of our antibiotics. That makes it very, very dangerous. If we get it, sometimes we have to uh, take an amputation of a dog's leg or do something like that. And so this is one of those things that you want to really culture it early, get a diagnosis, find out if there's some antibiotics that will work against it, and try and cure it before it gets to be a disaster for your dog.